Hello everybody, my name is Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not, please thank you so much for your continuous support and thank you for always coming back and watching my videos. So if you're new, yeah, feel free and make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend, guys. Okay, so I'm so happy today um, to watch this young lady called Damaris. And I uh, I got to know her, you know, some maybe two or three weeks ago. And I love her energy. I love, she's so courageous. Sorry. <laughs> she's so courageous because she travels alone. She's been traveling uh, through different countries in Africa alone. And so this video really caught my eye because I can just imagine how difficult it is to undergo such a difficult emotional situation alone in a foreign country away from your family so yeah so let's support her by uh reacting to this one and i hope you like it if you do make sure you leave a comment and you like so let's get straight into this video called i tested covid positive in a foreign country extremely emotional let's go big apologies to anyone who felt like i should have told them when i was going through this but it's because i love you so much that i felt let me save you the emotional mm. stress yeah and i understand that 100 percent. you know when you when you're away far from your family um and then you're unwell and you don't want to cause them unnecessary stress because <clears throat> by the end of the day there is nothing they can do about it then yeah it's it's a big challenge but on the other hand I always think that when it's something serious that is life um, threatening, then it's good to talk to your family just in case. Okay, so I feel that, yeah, um, it's a very difficult situation to be in and very difficult to, um, you know, to, to know what to do. So, yeah, people should not be, it's painful, yes, but on the other hand, we understand. I mean, I understand personally. Yesterday I got my results and up until now there's nothing else I have done apart from crying. Oh sad news is I have to isolate for fourteen days. Oh. And fourteen days is a long time when you're you know, when you travel, when you used to be in outdoors and you have to isolate for fourteen straight days. Uh, when you don't know anybody, so you don't even know where if you're going to have something to eat. Uh, you need to drink lots of fluids. I don't. Oh my goodness. Oh, too many things. Right. My visa is gonna expire. The the guys who had brought me to pick my COVID. Hey, my name is Damaris Jenga, a content creator from Kenya who decided mm -hmm. to quit their job and do travel. Yeah. Moved to Ethiopia for five months. After five months, flew all the way to Namibia to do a road trip from Namibia mm -hmm. through Botswana, Zambia, and Tanzania, and finally make it back to Kenya. And yes, just like any other journey, this has been an adventure. Good amazing ugly challenging and sweet mm. amazing moments all these travels have been made during covid and believe me i have stories to tell and i can't wait to share my today's episode oh i love that is that oh your intro is so nice i would love to know more about damaris i hope i can find a video where she's talking about her youtube journey because she says she lost she she uh she quit her job what made her quit her job and so on. So it would be really nice to see how her YouTube journey started. Yeah, I uh, I know uh, this guy, I saw him on one of her other videos where they went on a boat cruise and they met on the boat. And I think that's the beauty of traveling, especially when, when you're open to people, you get to meet extraordinary people. And I feel the best way to travel is when you actually meet people, the locals, they will show you around, they will be there for you in times of trouble. And I think, Darius, you made some good friends, um, you know, in, you know, with them. So it's fantastic. Previously, I successfully made a road trip from Gaborone all the way to Kasane. At Kasane, did my COVID test, but it had delayed. Mm -hmm. So this morning, with the accompaniment of my good friends that I met from the boat cruise, right. accompanied me to pick my COVID results. Uh, but unfortunately, it was not a success. So we decided, let's go for an adventure. We came up with a whole itinerary of things to do here at Kasane, which entailed visit Chobe River 
amazing spots, wow, go on a barbecue cool. during lunch time, and a game drive in the evening. While in the midst of this, I would have picked my result and the next day ready to head to Zambia. Africa is beautiful. Hi, Jeff. Africa is beautiful. So if you see me talking this part, that means I had to delete the music because it must be copyrighted. So you will just see me dancing. You know that that's where the music was, okay? As this was happening, unfortunately, the doctors called and said it was emergency and everything changed. So after 90 times coming to pick my results, this is the next day, just in case I'm not mentioned. Maybe they saw that I was positive earlier, they're like, this is a bit random again or something. But why would they, they have caught earlier? Like, what could she was saying is positive before she asked, like, before mm. I answered. That's what she said, that's why I was like, ah, oh, shit. She said it's positive. But she was talking to the other person, mm. and then she's like, hello, Hi. Hi. Hi, what, where should we go again? as Jeff again. Yeah, I'll try. Tell me, I'll try. Okay. Where should we go to, to, to do oh, the test? That's a horrible moment for you, Damaris, and I understand. I think your world just tumbled at that point. And to learn the news like that, you know, in a very strange way, when you leave, because there is a way of announcing some bad news, and this was not the, you know, this was not the best in the car. Just like that, you know, so whew, I can just imagine your brain, everything just, you know, just stumbled your world at that point. So sorry. That's the everything. Because we're tomorrow. And it's so frustrating as well, you don't understand what they're saying, do you? You know? Oh my goodness. No, but I want them as soon as possible. Today. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, so you guys, after crying so much, after receiving the oh. news, that one, no, I cannot even say it. The results came out positive. Mm. I have zero signs, zero nothing of all okay. those things. So, sad news is I have to isolate for 14 days. Oh, too many things. My visa is going to expire. Oh yeah, uh, that's what I was talking about. That's when you you start thinking about a thousand things: your family, you're alone. How do you even buy food? Your visa, this and this. You had so many plans, um, you know, planned out, and you can't waste more money, you know, with the COVID test because they're very expensive. I've heard, um, people traveling they just spend like a hundred dollars each time. So. If it's not part in your budget, then it can be very stressful. Oh, I'm happy. I know now things are much better, but my goodness, must have been terrible. Uh, the the guys who had brought me to pick my COVID have to go test for COVID. Mm. Right. Because their primary, whatever contact. Yeah, contact cases. Absolutely. Yeah, and I can just imagine how horrible you feel at that moment, thinking maybe they're positive and. It, it's, it will be your fault, you know, because, wow. Oh. Don't. Oh, shit. Shit, mm. shit, shit. Shit. <laughs> Girl. At this point, the only thing I feel so sad about is informing this to my family. Because they'll get so sad mm -hmm. and so worried in right. my absentia, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah. You know, already as your parents, I can just imagine how stressful it must be for them knowing that you're a girl, you're traveling alone, you never know. I saw the misadventure you had on one of your other videos and 
I was like, you're so courageous because you're permanently in danger as a woman traveling alone in a foreign country where you know nobody and you just take it a day at a time. So now with COVID on top, yeah, it's too much, too much to handle for your parents. I, I can just, yeah, I can just put myself in their shoes and it's terrible. Go test, go test. I want to be a boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, and oh. she's so beautiful. Oh my god! It's okay. Fuck this shit. It's Fuck okay. It. It. Anyway, you'll be well, the mothers will be well. The past will be as mm-hmm. well. You're a strong lady, right? Right. Yeah. I love those self affirmations. I do so myself when I have those down moments. And I just, you know, just, I hype myself up. Because if you don't, nobody will, you know. If you don't hype yourself up, nobody will in life. And I feel that it's our role and I'm happy that you do it yourself. You're like, I got this. I will go through this. So, uh, especially when you're alone in a foreign land like that. I'm thinking I do another test tomorrow just in case my samples are contaminated or something like that. Ah, shit. Mm-hmm. This COVID should rather get a whole solution. Mm. I can't wait to get back to my country and vaccinate. Mm-hmm. Not even sure if this vaccination is helping anybody. But I'm glad that you guys can watch me rant as I cry in my indecisiveness. Yeah, we're here for you. We're here for you. And I think we're here for the good, the bad you know, the ugly, for all of it, because I feel, you know, that's what real supporters do, and that's why I always remind um, my subscribers that just by subscribing, you're helping a whole lot, uh, you know, for the content creators, because you guys, you know, people use, uh, spend a lot of time filming, editing, looking for content, this and that, all the you know, all the down. So, I mean, we should be there for content creators, you know, during the good times and the bad times by supporting way in any way possible, you know. So, we're here for you, girl. Don't worry. Yeah. I think this COVID thing is terrible in the head more than it is physical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Oh, shit. Many tears later and not being mm. able to admit the reality, it was time to check in in my isolation room and this is where I was going oh, to spend the night. Okay. Reality, it was time to check in in my isolation room. Oh, I love the wood. I love the colors. Really nice. Modern, very nice. Room, and this is where I was going to spend the next seven days. Mm, the chicken. <laughs> so it's, it's dinner time. I'm done crying, I'm done crying, I'm done crying and mm. feeling sorry to myself. I should just be so grateful that I have people around me who care. Right. Yeah, so let's enjoy the food. <laughs> Don't I remember? Just oh. wanna cry. <clears throat> yeah. Mmm. Sad guys, it's sad. The next day. So yesterday I got my results and up until now there's nothing else I have done apart from crying. Why am I and I shall look. Did you see my head flinch like that? I just wanted to look at her. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I took a bath. We rested. It's another day for me to just think about how I should stay here. The uncertainty of not sure what is right and what is wrong. Mm. Right. <laughs> Girl, it's okay. It's okay. You're going to be okay. Oh. I don't know why I'm crying, but when I think about so many things, like when I tell my parents this news, they'll be so scared. Mm-hmm. I cannot tell anybody. If I tell people around my life, they'll be also scared. The Aww. stereotype and everything. I'm, I'm not even sure what is right and what is wrong. Right. You know? Oh, shit. All I know is I'm supposed to stay in this room. 
for the next seven to ten days. Oh my god. So apparently I was talking to one heaven sent person and yeah of course I'm supposed to keep mm-hmm. drinking water, right. warm drinks, tea, mm-hmm. coffee. Right. Yeah, apparently warm drinks are very important, you know, for those who have COVID. You have to keep your your system, you know, um humid, you know. And he was like, Why are you crying? I'm like, I don't know. If I was at home, then this would have been a different story. Maybe there's so much uncertainty on do I continue with my journey or do I call it quits and just go back home? Mm. <sighs> I just want to scream and I hate that you guys are going to watch this video. Oh. Yeah, but we're happy that you're sharing those moments as well because I feel like um, content creators just show the, the good sides of everything and we don't get to see um, the you know the backstage things that you guys undergo what you encounter and stuff like that so it's really nice and especially as a vlog as you are because you post daily it's nice to see you know this as well we need to see that you're you're a person you're a human being and you know and this is just bringing you closer to your supporters and they just, you know, just, I will love it. Personally, I love it when I see this because we're like, it's not all pink. You know, that like, there are some um, bad part sides to everything and it's nice to see it as well. So don't feel bad about it. So this guy is heaven sent, yeah? He just called me and said, I'm dropping a few things outside mm. your door. You should think. Strangers, let me tell you guys something that I've learned over the years. Someone who doesn't know you is ready to go that extra mile for you. They don't know you. I mean, you just met, you know, compared to those who've known you for so many years. And it's it's very strange. It's very, very strange. People who don't know you are always ready to help you uh, compared to those who, who know you so well. So that's what I'm going to do. Mm. I'm just like, who are you? Mm. Like right. you just meet a random person and, right. and they just take care of you, making sure you are fine, calling mm-hmm. you after every hour, right. checking up on you. Mm-hmm. I'm and that's why I always say, be nice to people. You never know. Always be nice to people. Because look, if she had ignored them, um, you know, the Jeff guy and the other guy, I'm sorry, your name is a little bit difficult to... Uh, to pronounce, but the pe- the Fenyo guy, the Peño, I don't know. Um, then if if you were not uh, friendly with them, if you didn't talk to them, if you didn't, you know, socialize with them, then you would be alone. And I think that's why I think traveling teaches you to be open to people, and it's always good to be nice to people at all times. You never know, you might need that person at some point, you know. So. But I'm- so guys, this is my isolation journey, and I refuse anything to put me down. Right. I freaking hate COVID, and this goes out to anyone who has had COVID or whose family has had COVID. It's not an easy day. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, it's, it's not easy. Yeah, Especially and COVID is real. It is real. So be careful, guys. Just be extremely careful. Even as I talk to like receptionists, I'm just like in my head, you know what? Please go sanitize. Please go stick yourself in that sanitizer. Mm-hmm. Because the last thing I also want is the guilt of right. anybody else. Right. Oh, shit, so. so guys, let's let's wait. And Aww. see what this isolation has in store. I promise you I'm not going to sit here and just cry. I'll make my life better. Mm-hmm. It's okay. I can do better. I can do better. It's okay. It's okay to have those down moments as well. It's okay. It's okay here. I love you so much. See you in a few. Hmm. No, I need to get some help Hoping you could save me 
baby Put our pictures on a shelf So I'm over you, oh well It's not that easy Waking up in this place all alone Day and night, night and day on the phone I need me to be whole again Hey, let's just appreciate the editing Oof! Wow, girl! This is so nice. I just love the way every. Oh my goodness, you're doing a great job, Damaris. Keep it up. So this is so emotional for me to shoot. Oh, oh my god! When you receive help, and I didn't. Even, I, I don't even know how to explain this, but yeah, this guy just dropped some shopping for oh. me. And Unboxing together. I'm very, very emotional right now. I could cry, like you know, when people do good things to you, mm. and you don't even know how to appreciate them. Right. And it's even wrong to ask why you're doing this, but very few people are like this anyway. Right. A whole one liter of water, two liters. I'm not saying this two liters. Mm. Mm. Whatever. Yeah, that's you know, five liters. Yeah. Hey, let's see. Let's unpack. What's the goodies? Goodies, goodies. I don't unpack from bed, but my room just have a bed. Mm -hmm. The table is already full of stuff. But let's see. It's never hurt. <laughs> the mask. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I can move. Right. Oh my god, I could cry right now. A whole two liters of yogurt. Aww. Orange juice. Okay. I can cook. Milk. Milk. No, I'm supposed to take more liquid. Liquid, yeah. Yeah, that is so thoughtful of them. You know, they brought lots of liquids and apples. Okay. An, an energy drink, the monster one. Monster. Right. Oh my goodness. Yogurt. Oh. Yeah. Let me tell you, when you give to people, they always give right back. So you have been so good to them. So they're just giving back. And I think it's their human beings. And it's wonderful. So thank you so much, Jeff. And uh, your name is a bit more difficult. Um, and thank you so much for being there for our sister. You know, if, it, if it is my sister, my brother, mm. my, mom, my dad doing this, this to Yeah, it would be okay. Yeah, normal, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somehow I expect Oh my goodness. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop, you're going to make me cry. Oh my god. Yeah. It's okay. so thoughtful they brought you cereals and milk sugar for your coffee or for your tea oh my god emotional when you know that you don't know them you know these people you just met them 
you know, maybe a day or two before that. You've never seen them before. They've never met you before, but they're treating you like family, you know. So it's, yeah, I understand why it's so emotional for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Mm. I don't know what else to say. I'm just more impressed now. And all I can say is to cry, 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 cry. And I don't want that anymore. Because I've cried enough. It's time for me to mature up. But to say to cry is not maturing up, yeah? No, it's okay. It's okay to cry. I mean, I always tell people if you want to cry, cry. It's okay. This is so sweet. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Time to drink liquid. <laughs> Okay, she has some garlic, she has some ginger, some honey, hot water. So you can put it in chunks like that or you can just crush it. Personally, I think you have like a better taste when you, when you, a, a better and a stronger taste depends how you like it. But yeah, um, I prefer crushing it and then mixing it. And then you can even just, you know, just swallow uh, the ginger and the garlic. idea for the oranges Is it a hotel? It looks really nice. I like the, you know, the decoration. I like the theme. Wood is so nice. Love it. Thank God that we are adaptable human beings. Great. I decided to embrace the reality, take my waters, quarantine, isolate, and just have the best of this moment alone as I keep hydrating and mm. drinking more more of these liquids. So today is another beautiful day. As you can see, the room looks good and kept. Like someone who's happy and having a good time, mm -hmm. I also journaled, mm. also took care of myself to make sure I'm looking good. Oh, nice. But, this is... Oh, the energy is different. It's so nice to see you smiling. So I'm shooting this part because someone just brought me a fruit tree orange juice oh. and water. Because a girl has been hydrating like, right. like a good lady. I'm good. proud of myself. Good girl. As you can see, I have energy today. I'm not crying. Yeah, the energy has changed completely. Girl, good job. It's okay. Told you it was going to be okay. You're okay. I'm good. But thank God. I'm grateful. <laughs> Let's get back to editing. I love you, girl. Oh, she's so good. It's another day. You guys remember when I told you yesterday they came in and spread my bed and such things. Then today they were like, today we need to change the sheets. And I just came out and I came back and I was like, oh, this is so sweet. Mm -hmm. Let me show you, let me show you. This is the bed oh. and it comes with like those elephant feel. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. And animals on it. White looks better, but such a feel at elephant trail is a good one. 
Mm. I have to say I am so, so grateful for the work that I do that despite everything, I can get to work. So <clears throat> I also just updated my phone and got like this new feature that is just giving me excitement <laughs> that now I can lock exposure and light when I'm taking like videos. Oh, so, nice. That's cool. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm also learning on how to be a better content creator if i could say because content creator is a combination of videographer editor Mm -hmm. model tell them tell them yeah absolutely and i feel it was like a much needed break because you were in the you know in the flow of traveling 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 you had you had your goals and vision and where you wanted to go and this two weeks helped you to just come back to you know just settle down just settle down a little bit rest a lot you know and then of course you know learn new things i think you journaled like you said and i feel that you you're learning new techniques about you know how to i don't know camera shooting editing and stuff like that so it was a good pose you know in your long journey and i think you'll be ready to continue your journey and uh, the face of the channel, anchor, all those things. Right. Yeah. So I'm um, also taking this time to learn those things, and mm-hmm. I'm grateful so far. I'm so so grateful. Time for me to go freshen up and look like a good girl. <laughs> it's having a good life despite everything. Right. Your camera, who be this? Oh, so we're going for the results. Hey guys. So. Today I'm out because I'm going to test for COVID. I'm just praying the results come out negative so we can continue on with our journey. Right. And yeah, basically that's what is happening today. That's all. Then in this place I'm going to test for COVID. It's 350 puller and results come out by tomorrow midday. Yeah. Is it painful? I haven't done that yet. Is it painful? Oh, that's way better. <laughs> so what happens just in case someone is positive? <laughs> well, I'm back home as you can see. Mm-hmm. I look a little bit fresh with my hair shining, natural hair, but that is not what I'm here to talk about. And just from clearing, because I'm just praying to God mm-hmm. that the results tomorrow are successful. Right. Apart from that, uh, I, the confession that I want to make is that this is the most expensive place I have ever stayed. Because if you guys know, uh for a long time yeah 40 us dollars per night staying for a long time money that was not budgeted mm-hmm. for like i just had to go to my emergency fund including my today's what is it called covid test right. but i also want to say thank you very much to all the people who have been supporting me on my journey here mm-hmm. on those people who have been my patreon supporters you guys watching my youtube videos that support really gives me the courage to keep pushing on it helps me with the money that i make i'm mm. able to calculate right and i think this triggers me to do a video on how much i spent in botswana and namibia because i think those are two countries that have actually stood out for me when it comes to spending if yeah you're... right that would be interesting yeah please if you're interested in seeing such a video let me know yeah and i'll give you a breakdown yeah i would love that i would love to see um how much because it's it's an art you know to budget you need to not spend too much and that's why I think when you meet people then you less you spend less because they host you and stuff like that. Guys 
bear with me if not everything goes well because I do not have any more money to keep spending like this. Right. I got no money. I need money to save to visit other countries, you know. Yeah. And other news, this is actually one of the most affordable single like room, like with your own washroom and stuff here in Botswana. And I'm glad. So let me go take a bath as I sleep and pray for tomorrow to have good results. So I'm tempted. Do I end this vlog here or do I let you guys see the results? Uh, hmm. huh. As curious as I am, why would I be serving you things <laughs> like in two minutes you've already known if the results were right or wrong. So right. I'm going to end this video here so that you guys can catch up on my next one. Tomorrow, that should be exciting. <laughs> because me, I'm just hoping it is good, good news. Okay, hope with me, pray with me, right. guys. This is the end of this video. I will catch up with you in my next one, which is tomorrow, as I go get my results. And if I do get my results, I'm excited to meet up with the strangers that really helped me out in this whole stay, and just like give them one very, very big right. hug. And the journey continues as I also give you an update on what is my new update and thought after mm -hmm. this whole scenario otherwise guys thank you i know this was an emotional video and my big apologies to anyone who felt like i should have told them when i was going through this but it's because i love you so much that i felt let me save you the emotional stress but always remember i love you so much i love you so so much thank you so much for your support guys i will see you in my next video let's remember to create time for that which ignites your soul until next time guys bye and if you have not subscribed please you're the reason why that brand is not coming to us please subscribe yeah guys please 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 support damari she's doing an, an amazing job uh, and I'm so happy that you're much better now. I just love when you're smiling, you know, but thank you so much for also showing, you know, when you're vulnerable and in such, in such, you know, situations. So guys, make sure you go and support Damari Sinjenga. She's a Kenyan YouTuber and she's doing an amazing job and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. And make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend. So until next time, thank you for watching and bye.